previously on Cult of Lamb's No Dodge Challenge. I tested myself and beat the entire game without dodging once. But now, with Cult of Lamb's new Relic of the Old Faith update, I now have to go back and show if I can beat Relic of the Old Faith without dodging. And I do this by unbodying my dodge key. But later on, there'll be something that'll completely restrict it. And let's get this party started. Who is that? We shall find out. I seek the newly anointed god, successor of their victims, last of their kind. Something about crusade once more, give peace to the bishops trapped between life and death. That's the plan, baby. Bam, 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 and bam. We have started a new challenge. It is unlocked actually dark wood instantly, but we're not gonna go there first. Silk Cradle, and then I have to sacrifice a level 10 follower because I want to beat Shimura first. Let's see, do I have a level 10 follower? I do not have a level 10 follower. How high level are my followers? Okay, so they're each like level six-ish. Oh wait, there's a level eight right there. Okay, I bless followers and perform rituals to level them up, meditating to speed things up. Okay, that should be it. I'm sorry, Barbados. Barbados is gone. He's now young for some reason, but... <laughs> can barely see what's happening. Okay, <laughs> into Silk Cradle. And here's Haro, blah blah blah. Enemies in Silk Cradle have grown stronger. What the hell? Spawn forced by the spill of blood, I know you hear me, god of death. Ignoble land, finish what you've begun. What? Get out of here. Uh oh. This is like the worst type of mob since we don't have dodge. Oh my god, so many enemies in such a small encased room. Oh my god, there's still more. It's so loud. There's still more? Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ! That was insane! Here's actually our first relic room. So much? I don't know. Uh-uh, the red crown and you beast god. And then we unlock all these random relics. And let's see which one we get. All his teeth rain down a storm of lightning upon the non-believer. Uh, this one's okay, I guess. Holy pieces of revered being. Oh, what the frick? Uh, what is my button? What is the button? Do I not have it? Oh, I don't have it charged up. There we go. I was like, what the frick? Yeah, there we go. I guess better than a silly card. Better than a pointy sword. Chamach is better. Then let's keep going on our way. What the f- What the <gasps> Oh my god! Why am I fighting a witness right now? <laughs> what is running like a- And then- I didn't cut that corner. Thank you. There we go. Oh my gosh, it almost spawned more enemies. Jesus Christ. Get out of here. That's not even the final boss. I didn't even- What? Well, at least it gave me an eye of a witness. It looks like I can get a good relic here, because I've lost so much health. Increase in size. Honestly, this is a pretty good. I'll use it. <laughs> now I'm bigger. <laughs> it's good because. Oh, wait, no, I'm slower. Oh my gosh. Great, now I'm slow. That was actually super dumb to do. What the hell? Okay, whatever this hell spawn is. Is it falling off? It is falling off. It's like playing snake or something. Get back here! And it's running so fast! Out of here. <laughs> nice. Okay, we got our first god tier, so let's go back to our cult. Then I want to run straight over here. I sense your success. I feel the presence of a god tier. Foul beast, blah, 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 blah. Grant the name being. Uh, I'll call him Stray. And thus, our contract is struck. Bring me the god tier, and I shall reward you in turn. Here is my god tier. Please give me something good. There you go. And once you do it, you get to spin a roulette wheel, and please give me something good. Please, please. Bruh. I think that's the second worst thing I can get. Use a forgotten commandment stone to declare a previously unchosen doctrine for your cult. So I can actually go do that right now. So there's not really much I could get with this thing. Oh, what the frick? Oh, the fleeces. <laughs> well, I don't have a fleece unlocked yet. When that roulette wheel's spinning, if I get a, uh, a holy talisman fragment from it, I'll unlock my fleece. But until then, I'm gonna keep spinning it. So it's up to chance, but I'm gonna declare a forgotten doctrine. So I'll go after life 5, and then the belief and sacrifice trait. And that'll be good for later, because I actually need to use that. Then we're gonna perform a sermon too. Then we're gonna go Might of the Devout 6. Because it's like, I feel like I'm using a plastic toy on these freaking stupid spiders. Okay, we're gonna continue on our way to get more of those god tiers. Lapless's Dice. 50% chance to heal heart, or 50% chance to gain a spirit heart. I'm gonna use that instantly, actually. Come on, big money, big money! I don't know what I gained. I wasn't paying attention. Kinda sucks. Wish I gained more freaking what the hell? Horus is ugly, bro. Oh my god. And he does damage. And he poops out babies. 
<laughs> Random dice with shit heart. Oh, just to tank that attack. Okay, I'm just wailing on him. I have health to tank, like usual. <laughs> Shalavid's almost dead. <laughs> Oh, uh, I love having all this HP. Back at the Feral Fighters. I accept all the new followers, unlock some buildings, and build this weird looking bed. Then just went back into a crusade. So we'll go in here, beat up this guy, get another god tier, and hopefully get fleeced by them. So we're gonna go this direction, we're gonna go mystery, because this might be a boss fight, but I doubt it will be. Like, what the hell? Die! I should have went the other way! Damn it! Jesus Christ. I really didn't think it would be a boss fight. I don't want That's so dumb. And then this follower is about to be another fight. Are you kidding me? Okay, and here we are. God, these things are hideous, man. What the frick? Oh my god. Holy sh... Suck on that lightning! <laughs> Oh my god, it actually did so much damage to it, what the frick? Okay, and then before anything, I'm actually- Please give me a relic fragment thingamabobber, I want a fleece now. There we go. Come on, big buddy, big buddy! No! I don't need another one of these. Another one. Come on, give me this necklace or the relic fragment thing. Why? What a shrimp! That guy. Okay, time for the final boss. So we're gonna go, um, Anna Pano. Okay, and then we're gonna make some food for my followers. And then one for me. Eat this up. Boom. And an extra shield heart. Let's go and beat up, uh, Shamura. A rainbow card. Attack rate increased by two times. <laughs> and it's time for the boss room. Jeez, look at this arena and look at Shamura. They're, like, torn in half. And then they just instantly transform. Sure, <laughs> die! And then do all this just because. Pick up all that fervor and then just beat them. Beat them, senseless! Dude. <laughs> They're dead. They're just dead. <laughs> what a freaking awesome card. It's literally the only reason I won. And now we convert Shimura and then pick up three god tiers. Quite nice reward for my gambling addiction. Okay, please. Come on, the necklace or the thing. Okay, at least I got the necklace. Acquired, yes, the light necklace. That's actually really good. But I still want my fleece. So please, just give me this. Just give me this one. Yes! <laughs> yes! And as you can see, it only actually gives me a fragment. It doesn't give me a full one. So I just want to do that just because it seems more fun. So what I actually want to do now. Here we go. And then we're going to catch this crab. Get over here! We got a little skin for it. We can trade it for him. A really big coincidence. Wonderful, wonderful, much better. And then he gives me a fragment shard. Yippee! Because I get a full, holy talisman. And with this, we can get the Fleece of Hobbled Heels, Heal Heart after completing each room, increase movement speed, and starting health. That sounds pretty awesome. But you cannot roll, which doesn't matter because this is a no roll challenge. And now we're dripped up with this. Okay, so we let in Shimura and then we re-educated them. I accidentally- <laughs> I forgot to record it. I just need to wait for them, they should eventually give me a quest. I wrapped the precious thing in a web and nestled it deep in the bosom of Silk Cradle. But where, when, and what? Okay, find Shimura's skull in Silk Cradle. I shall go do exactly that. Oh my god! I knew it said it would give me more starting health, but 14, like, red hearts, like, Jesus Christ! And they're red hearts so I could heal. And look, I walk faster now too. Ouch! Doesn't mean I still won't get hit. Okay, and then right here. What the hell? Pick up Shimura's Skull. Shimura's Skull gained 8 seconds of invincibility, which I would say is pretty good for a trying to not get beat up charm. I mean challenge. Oh sweet! And we have to get it right now. That's actually really good. Witness of Alakro. Oh no. So I'll just fight them normally, and then when I get... You know what? Invincibility! Die! I'm glowing! I'm no longer invincible! God, I hate how they run away. Okay, I should've used the invincibility here! What a mistake! Cheese and rice, that was, uh... Oh! Or I just killed them before they spawn another enemy. Okay, let's pick up this god tier. <laughs> we get our witness eye. It's kinda useless, but that doesn't matter, because we're out of here. Hey, let's talk to Shimura. Ah, uh, what is that? It is your head. Ignore their stupidity. We're gonna go here, we're gonna perform a sermon. Okay, we're actually gonna go here. We're gonna go Eyes of the Lost Breath. I want this for one of these. And I'm gonna do Sacrifice of Flesh. Okay, and this should give me another upgrade. Thank you very much. And then I want Blessing of the Relics. Uh, nice. And this should give me some nice relics when I go in. And then we'll do... So we need a level 7. We'll do Unduceus. I'm sorry. 
Yeah. <laughs> get a relic real quick. Hopefully we get a blessed one. Ooh, it is actually a blessed one. Bless Exorcist's finger. Summon two demons to assist you in battle. This is not what I want, but this is actually pretty helpful. Uh, I can just do it right now. Oh, and there's two bomb guys. What the frick? Why do I have to fight a witness? Okay, well, they almost died just from that. Oh, my bombs didn't even blow them up. I should have waited for them to do that. There we go. I didn't know I had to fight witnesses every single time. Okay, and just here's the boss. Oh my god, he looks hideous. Die, you hell spawn. Oh my god, he's actually almost dead. <laughs> he was torn to shreds. Okay, we're just gonna continue on going to the dungeon. Uh, that's a pretty good relic. Deal damage to all enemies based on the amount of tarot cards you hold. Chance to gain a blue heart. Okay, this is actually exactly why I wanted the blessed ones because they give you blue hearts. I guess I'll just use it when uh, there's a ton of enemies. Speaking of which. Oh my god! Blue heart. Um, I don't know if it's chance for them to drop a blue heart or if I gain one, but I just got two blue hearts and I assume that's why. Damn, they look like a melted pumpkin. Okay, you just gotta watch out for all of these. Oh, and I didn't even dodge. Okay, let's use this then. I love how it did no damage and gave me no blue hearts. Smack them around like a ping pong. There we go. Nice, melted pumpkin down. But, actually, we want to buy Soul Snatcher when killing an enemy 10% chance of healing. That's a pretty good card, especially since we only have red hearts now, so this will be actually useful. And then this one, Wraith's Will, destroy the breakable rocks untouched, which will be pretty nice when I'm just running around. And then, let's uh, just go back into the dungeon. Please don't be a boss room. Hey. <laughs> Why? Well, at least they're frozen now, so they'll be slower. <laughs> there we go. What the heck? Jesus Christ, why did it put out so much red hearts? Shunru's charm? Decrease in size? Look how fast I am! Okay, and here are the bosses. Damn, Salios looks pissed. Freaking die, Salios! Okay, now he's slowed down, that's pretty nice. I don't know how I'm dodging these. I'm so small, I'm... He's like missing every attack. <laughs> nice, I swear I should have gotten hit like three times in that fight, but I guess size does matter. Okay, let's grab this then and then summon two demons. Pretty nice, extra little help. Level 20 hands of fate. Okay, this is over for the boss. And then hopefully he just gives me a super overpowered relic. Not really overpowered, it's decent. Oh my God, and a godly sword, okay. It's like it's telling me to just absolutely decimate this boss. Damn, what's wrong with their face? Freaking, we got two face up here. Why does he have two sets of teeth too? That's freaking weird. Uh, I didn't see what it said, but I don't care because fighting time. Okay, we already did. Oh my god. Oh, they're kind of uh, dead because. Oh, wait, what? There we go. Before that attack happened. <laughs> What the frick, he's hideous! <laughs> no damage from Bishop bonus. That guy was completely smoked. For all these up, I'm gonna run off to the dungeon. Cause then I have to find Juge Remmer in Darkwood. Goofiest name I've ever heard. Okay, I'm gonna go this way so we could pick up a Juge Remmer. Oh, they're a cat. They're the exact type of cat I've been having in my cult. Juge Remmer needs to be saved! <laughs> Come on, Juge Remmer. <laughs> yeah. oh, what a goofy cat. Oh my god, another freaking witness? This witness is actually about to get it. <laughs> oh my god, they didn't even stand a chance. Grab this, and then straight instantly to the boss fight. Uh, Valfar? Valfar 2. Ouch. Get him! Kill him! Oh my god! What the frick? Okay, there we go. Jesus Christ, he jumped around so much. <laughs> His movement speed by two times. Okay, that's just excessive. <laughs> I run so fast. Oh my god. Okay, this is bad since this is shield idiots. <laughs> Look at my axe. Wait. <laughs> well, at least I know what I'm going to do for the boss fight. Okay, let's try this out on... Amducius 2. Run, run. Okay, it just kills the lackeys fine, but I don't think it really gets Inducius. Actually, if I slow him down... Oh, it just double hit and killed him instantly. <laughs> I didn't even get an experiment. What? Juder, or leader of my brother, Jutjammer, has joined us here, and I can't stand him. Our whole lives he has overshadowed me, but no more, let us fight. 
I'm gonna do it after I perform that sacrificial ritual. <laughs> we're gonna go here, go to rituals, sacrifice of flesh, and then where is he? Here he is, Juger. Juger is getting it. Get him! Kill him! What the heck? Uh, I forget which one this is. Yep, now they're here. If you recall, they're the one that got beat up um, at the end of the last video. But besides that, fight pit ritual. And then we're gonna wanna choose Trenomer, the jealous old man, and then Jute Remmer, the newbie who's like level one. I wonder who will win. Come <laughs> on, get him, Jute Remmer, get him! <laughs> Jute Remmer! <laughs> this is what Jute Remmer gets for being weak, I guess. Okay, let's see what he has to say about that. I knew he would be no match for me. <laughs> oh, this game is so dumb. Okay, but for the reason why I want to do that was because now I could go right here, ball. We want to change him to this, there we go, with his goofy weird looking face. And then let's go on a crusade. Okay, and then now we want to go here to visit Fornius. Say hi to Fornius. One can be certain of nothing but the heart. A heart remembers, a mother shan't forget. Now she gets ball back, or however you pronounce the stupid name. Ah, lamb, praise lamb, blessed lamb, my son returned, soul almost whole. Yeah, too bad she only gets one son. Kindly deeds for kindly rewards, take this and I shall insist. Thank you very much. Bless Tear the vengeful father, convert blue hearts to spirit hearts. Uh, yeah, pretty good. This is only good if I find blue hearts, so. But it shall be used when the time comes. Oh, what the frick? I was about to say, where is the boss? And it's Barbados. Get him! Wow, that was a really weird hitbox for that attack. I don't get how I dodged that. What the frick? What happened? I can't believe I walked into that. I just lost my bonus. I can't believe I walked straight into that. Okay, and then now we're just going to prepare for a boss fight. Anna, Pano, we'll do a Juna for the level 10 bomb. Just because. Our single shield heart, and then let's go back into the dungeon. Okay, and time to beat up Leshy. Someone took a nibble out of Leshy's face. Time to put an end to this. What the frick? Kind of gross. Okay, now we're just gonna... What? What happened? Okay, that bomb was too OP. What the frick? Okay, only heart pets for now on. Jesus Christ, that thing just eviscerated Leshy. <laughs> and then before going to Inura, uh, we need to go to Midas Cave. And then there should be a new card here. Uh, begin each room with a brief moment of invincibility. Grab this real quick. Pretty nice. And then let's go unlock Inura. Oh, I need level four followers. So I'm gonna chuck this guy in there, I guess. I don't like the color of his fur, so he's getting eviscerated. That's what he gets for being magenta stupid. <laughs> okay, and let's go. Now we're gonna go here. Please don't be a boss fight. Are you kidding me? There we go. That is so stupid. Oh my gosh, another witness. Uh, witness bathtub. <laughs> witness their butt being handed. Oh my god. Boss fight time. Damn, they look freaking gross. Gotta watch out for all their... Gotta watch out for this attack, actually. Okay, they didn't perform it. And there they go performing it. Random dice. That was unnecessary, because I just beat the boss. Okay, back into Inura. <laughs> oh my god, Zapar! What happened to you? Okay, use this invincibility on them. Oh, I have no fervor! More invincibility, and I just beat them up. Oh my god! There we go. Oh my gosh. They gotta have all this health. Okay, time for Goosian 2. What the frick is wrong with Goosian? Bro has never brushed his teeth. This boss doesn't seem that hard. Curse only moment? Wow, Goosian was such a trouble. And final boss after this. Okay, and then to prepare for this fight, we'll go... So we won't do a bomb, because last time Juna just slaughtered Leshy. We'll do Panoi, yeah, I'll know, as then this PN guy. Come here, and then we're gonna make, if I make Mince Follower meet without the cannibal trait, will I throw up? Nope, I gained two uh, disease hearts. Okay, I did not think that would happen. So now I have max health, like as much as possible we could get from the start. So let's go into uh, an era and beat up Hecate. Okay, and here we are before the boss fight. Uh, Hecate looks the same. She just looks like she has a cut mark on both sides. Her- her body's gonna be like really torn to shreds, watch. Oh my god, literally straight down the middle in the back. Okay, let's- Okay, she backs up instantly. Use Lapis's dice, and we got screwed. Die! Uh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted the invincibility frames. 
but the godly axe carries, I mean the hammer. <laughs> and there we go. Then we have to go talk to Stray. So you have completed your task, Red Crown. The bishops are trapped no longer. What becomes of them now is not my interest, though what becomes of yourself. I want to become a cat. As such, I offer you a boon, a cementing of our new undertaking. Uh, a blueprint. Oh, oh thanks, bro. A trophy for killing the one who waits? Dude's acting like I was going to place this down in the first place. Thanks for nothing. Uh, whatever he's saying. Oh, what the frick? God of the Death Fleece when resurrecting gain two disease hearts. Oh, that is so useful. Okay, I guess that's it. So you can beat Cult of the Lamb relative to the Old Faith update without dodging once. It was really easy with this fleece, but I hope you guys enjoyed.